Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. It, Ethereum dropped a little bit more than it would have been ideal. Um, if you've watched the last video, I already issued my, my concern that the move down was a bit stronger than it would have been ideal. And um, yeah, now we do see the consequences in that the price does drop a little bit lower than it would be ideal. And it cannot be a wave four anymore because with this wave four, we have an overlap with wave one. So that doesn't work. And in addition to that, we are just retracing too much to make it work in terms of the um, Fibonacci retracements. That would have been the yellow area, the ideal retracement area for the wave four. Now, because it is dropping more, I mean, the price sort of warned us about that already because we had here a very, very strong sell off, as mentioned um, in the last video yesterday. But of course, as long as the support box is still valid, it's it's still valid. But we certainly had some warnings with that price. Now, what do we do? I did mention to you that if we, um, if we, if we, no, if we see here a stronger drop than th than the yellow support box, yeah, then I have to understand this not as a wave three and four, but I have to create here another one, two setup. That is the, let's say next likely option. I'm going to take out the support box because it's not relevant anymore. Um, so what do we do? We've got here the, um, we've got, we've got, I'll take the subwaves out because we don't really know and need them anymore. And um, I am labeling this five wave move that you've just seen as a wave one in itself. We're coming down in two and then there will be a three, four, five. So this is the next likely option. Important is as always to understand what other support levels that definitely need to hold. And um, important is here, we draw, we draw, we draw, no, we draw the FIPS from the low here. Important is to hold, first of all, very important would be to hold the 78.6% um, FIP level. And that is at 1264, 1265. It, it should really hold that. If it doesn't hold that, also the one two setup will get unlikely. And we're probably in something more bearish which will, I mean, we could still in the very worst case hold 1241, which is the low from the um, 12th of December, this swing low, because such a one, two setup is strictly, is not strictly invalidated until it breaks the beginning of the wave one. But of course, as you know, it will, you know, it will get unlikely below the 78.6% FIP level that it still works out. So one, two setup, my view is, is possibly not over. Maybe we touch the, the channel support and we'll see a bounce from there or have a slight drop below channel support. And um, yeah, but then again, if the bulls want to carry on with this, it needs to, it needs to push higher. Um, what we see here at the moment is a very choppy, choppy chart. Uh, it would have been ideal to hold way for support. Market didn't do it. That is certainly a sign of weakness, um, which doesn't necessarily mean this whole bullish or short-term bullish pattern is over because we are still waiting for short-term further upside but you can see how much weakness in the, is in this chart now um we have strong retracements one two that was ideal here one two that was okay as well it was a complex correction here one two that was fine and now we've got another one two setup the fourth one and it's getting unrealistic now we've got too many um so we get to a point where it really needs to start to ready either now or from 1264 or this whole pattern is probably not going to work out. Um, a pullback to a trend line is fine, but if you have, you know, you have so many, so many strong retracements here, which just shows us, you know, we, we're still in a bear market, right? We're not, we're not um, in a real bull run yet or anything. The sentiment is still, you know, taking profits and selling into the rallies. Um, and yeah, what can I say other than we need to hold this support area? which I think now we have a realistic chance. The way four I was a bit concerned about here. Yeah, um, we are now nearly oversold on the one hour chart. So expect a bit of a bounce anyway. Okay, four hours still has space. I mean, we looked at it yesterday when we were still in the way four support box and we were still quite overboard. So that's when I mentioned, be ready for maybe a bit more of a decline. Um, but we are still not oversold on the four hours. So that is a bit of a concern actually. Because for a real, real wave three rally, we, we want to be prepared, right? 
But it's all about, you know, do we hold this support now or not? Understanding what support is relevant for Wave 2. And um, then we need to just keep moving. This could also, all of this could also be a more complex diagonal pattern, which is possible as well. Um, I'm just thinking what the correct wave count would be. So you have the chance, obviously, as always, to different different scenarios, right? Um, we've got the main scenario here where we've got the one twos, one twos, but they do get at some point a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit unlikely, right? When you have too many of them. So the other idea is to count it as a diagonal and that we have basically I'm just going to show it you with the with the yellow lines. So we've got a wave one here. Oh come on, wrong tool. Um, wave one here, wave two here. So this is a bit different to our count because we had a one two here and a one two. But this is one two only one, one two setup. Then we've got here the A wave of the wave three the B wave of the wave 3 and we should move up in a C wave of the wave 3 next. If you ask yourself why does this uh, wave 3 have uh, A, B, C? Just because it's an, um, it can be counted as a diagonal pattern. So here as well, A, B, C, yeah? A, B, C, A, B, C. And now this is a critical point here. Yeah, um, This could be the A wave of the wave 3, then here the B wave of the wave 3 and we could rally next in a C wave of the wave 3, then there could be a wave 4 and a 5. Diagonal patterns, as always, they are less reliable, so I would have liked to see um, an impulse. And here we've got now the problem. I've got a count where I've got four one two setups. Now, above 3, it normally gets unrealistic. A diagonal pattern is, mm, well, is unreliable as well. And there's different ways of how this diagonal can be counted. Um, but uh, the point is we need to hold those support levels either way, right? It just tells you a lot about can you how much can you trust this count if you have four one two setups or if we have um yeah basically such a diagonal pattern, right? So things are getting tough here on the Ethereum chart. Um upside targets still I would say if we can rally, I mean 1400, 1500 plus to be honest. So certainly fourteen hundred we should reach if we hold this support level, but then at some point it will get exhausted again. I mean, another chance or another way to count a diagonal pattern would be we've got a wave one here, we've got a wave two here. So that's a solid one, two down there. And then we had our um, A wave of wave three here, our B wave of wave three here, and we're now already in the C wave of the wave three. But the C wave itself is an ending diagonal. So we've got here a one, two, three, four, and should get one more leg up. See, there's still there's still enough counts that would support upside, which tells you a decent probability is there. But also here, if we lose this 1240 level, 1241, it's gonna get extremely critical. So it will be an interesting day today, because today could be a decision, or this week could be a decision about uh, where we're heading for the for the next week and the next two weeks. Um, this is now a critical point, especially as we've come down to, to key support, here the channel support. That should hold. If not, then we've got the other levels I gave you, the Fibonacci support levels here at um, 1260 uh, roughly, yeah, and 1240. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.